You don't have to be a stormtrooper to have a thing for white and black gear. And for those that want their everyday carry gear to follow this non-colour scheme, we have here a collection of some of the best matching everyday carry gear you can buy right now. It wouldn't be EDC without a pocket knife and it so happens that one of the best pocket knives out there is available in our chosen colour free palette. This is the Benchmade Mini Bug Out which you won't be surprised to hear is a scaled down version of the best selling Benchmade Bug Out and this is super lightweight at only just over 40 grams or one and a half ounces and very slim and compact so you hardly know you're carrying it. The drop point blade is just under three inches and it's made from S30V steel, which is very nice and super sharp out of the box. It has this ceramic based black Cerakote finish. The handle is made from a semi-crystalline thermoplastic, whatever that is, and it feels pretty rigid with just a very slight flex when squeezed hard. The deep carry pocket clip here is pretty substantial and can swap sides for left-handers, providing for tip-up carry. It feels very nice in the hand for me, allowing a full four-finger grip and has the benefit of some thumb jimping here as well. But if you have big hands, you might prefer something larger. And here we have Benchmade's signature axis lock, which is great, unless like me, you live in a country that has banned locking knives for general carry, in which case it makes you a little bit sad. So a great lightweight quality folder made in the USA that I would definitely carry if it wasn't for the fact that I might get arrested. Price is around $180 or a surprisingly competitive £140. And as always, if you want more information on any item featured, I'll put links down in the description below. If you're looking for a great EDC flashlight at a great price, then put the Lumin Top Tool AA version 2 on your list. And about the size of my finger, this thing is very pocketable and it's also very lightweight at 45 grams or 1.6 ounces, and that's with the battery installed. It also has some great features. It's made from anodized aluminium and it has a maximum output of 650 lumens utilizing a Cree LED. We have four light levels low, medium, high and turbo and also a strobe mode and it has a reversible pocket clip and a tail switch for easy operation and it can tail stand for candlelight mode. It has a maximum water and dust ingress rating of 68 which means it can be submerged. One of the best features however is the dual fuel capability. Use an MN14500 lithium battery like this one for maximum output and runtime. But if you get stuck without a charger, you can use a standard AA battery instead, which is a great backup option. The AA battery has reduced power output compared with the lithium, so I would always opt for a lithium battery for primary use and one like this, which has a USB-C charging socket built in. And then I will keep the AA standard battery as a spare. Operation is easy. A low blue glow on the tail switch helps locate it in the dark. And I assume that uses next to no power because it's always on. Although if you untwist the head half a turn, it does go off and effectively locks the light from accidental activation. Operation is pretty simple. Simply press the switch to bring on the light at the last used light setting and then half press to step through the four light level, which is pretty straightforward. To bring on the strobe mode, you have to press six times, which quite frankly is daft since this is designed to be used in an emergency. So if you do find yourself being rapidly approached by a big dog and plan to use the strobe to say, put it off, I would suggest with this light, you might want to run instead. And if you want more information on the light levels and run times using the different batteries, then you might want to freeze this chart here. Included in the box are a few spare O-rings and a lanyard strap and also this diffuser here for lighting up an area with a softer light and it actually works quite well. And strangely, when you turn it off, it glows in the dark. 
The Lumen Top AA cost me just £18. It's the same in dollars and that's without a battery. I think that's very good value. And if you like, you can purchase it with a battery and that will cost you around £28 or dollars. I am a big fan of a sling bag and I use one every day. And this one from TomTok is, in my view, probably the best value sling bag on the market right now. And it comes in a wide range of colours, including this black on white version. This is the small H02 sling and at a 4.5 litre capacity, it's the perfect size to hold your essential everyday carry gear when out and about. It's made from a tough 1260 denier ballistic nylon and it's lightweight at just 250 grams which is 8.75 ounces and it's water resistant thanks in part to the excellent water resistant YKK zippers we have on this bag. The zips run very smooth on this bag with nice grippy zip pulls and they give access to three fully lined compartments, one at the front and that gives quick access to gear like AirPods keys and a wallet and it's divided into three compartments and also includes a keyring leash with a metal clip. Then we have the main large pocket and this has a central divider and on that divider there are two stretchy pockets. And then we have a flat pocket and that sits against the body which is a bit more secure and is ideal for say a passport and travel documents or perhaps a phone. The strap used here is very wide and therefore comfortable with a seatbelt type material. And the buckle used here is basic but it's from Duraflex which means great quality. The way the straps fasten into the sling mean that it sits more vertically on the back for comfort when being carried, but then when you swing it round to the front, it becomes horizontally so you can easily grab what you need. And when it's sat on a table, the front can fold over to give you better visibility and better access to the contents. So great design and great quality using top quality components with some very nice features and lots of color choices. And then when you factor in the price, which is just 36 pounds or dollars, it really is very hard to beat for the money. If the Benchmade pocket knife was too expensive or too illegal for you, then this Real Steel Solace Lite is a great alternative at about a quarter of the price. We have here a slip joint folding knife with a sub three inch blade, so legal to carry in most places where a knife can be carried. And the full length nail nick here makes this particularly easy to open because it can be grabbed with a thumb and finger. There is a good amount of tension in the spring and a solid half stop or more like three quarter stop. So it feels very safe and secure when in use. And we have a deep carry split pocket clip for right handed tip up carry and also a lanyard hole here. The black coated blade is a Warncliffe style which I like in a pocket knife as it allows for precision cutting at a shallow angle if you're cutting something out. The steel type here is D2, which is a good quality steel at this price. And the scales are G10 and textured for grip and include some nice chamfered detail. As far as the weight goes, this is lightweight at 50 grams or 1.8 ounces, but it just goes to show how lightweight the mini bug out is, which was just 40 grams. The price is where this stands out though. I'm a fan of real steel and the quality and fit and finish on this knife is right up there. It is lightweight, has decent steel and nice action and the compact pocketable design is spot on to my eyes anyway. And all that comes in at under 40 pounds or dollars, which I think is a real steal. When it comes to wallets, black on white is hard to find, but there is one wallet maker you can rely on when it comes to color choice and that is Ridge, the makers of the original minimalist card wallet, which is now pretty much iconic. And I have to say Ridge do a great job here. We have great packaging and included Torx screwdriver. And we also have here some spare screws. And I wasn't sure the price I paid for this, which is around 80 pounds or $80 would feel justified. But I have to say this wallet 
does feel premium. The surface here is finely textured and looks like plastic, but it's actually matte aluminium with these black screws and other black elements here. And I think it looks really good. It's very simple to use. You simply slide your card in here and then this expands to take up to 12 cards, which I think is more than anyone should ever need. Now, I'm just gonna put six cards in here like this. And let's be honest, it doesn't get much neater than that. And as you can see, it's actually the same size as a credit card. To get at your cards, simply push up from the bottom and then you can fan them out, pick the one you want. And it's always a good idea to put the most used at the front or the back for even easier access. And as with most wallets of this type, the metal in here shields the wallet, protecting the cards inside from RFID theft. When it comes to carrying cash in the form of notes, you can choose a cash strap like the one I have here, or you can choose a money clip or both or none at all. And your Torx screwdriver enables you to modify your wallet as required. So if you are a card user and looking to minimize your carry, you won't go far wrong with one of these. As a huge fan of Victorinox knives, there was always going to be one included in this Whiteout EDC lineup, and this is it. This is the Victorinox Climber, and many people rate this as one of their favorite Victorinox knives for everyday carry, and it's easy to see why. It is a 91 millimeter three layer knife, which makes it very pocketable. And we have the usual multifunction bottle opener and can openers with the added screwdriver and pry tool functionality. Then we have two knife blades. The smaller one is ideal for package opening and more precision cutting and the larger one for chopping up your apple and everything else. And these are under three inches and non-locking, so legal to carry in the UK and most other countries. Then we have the tool I wouldn't want to be without the brilliant Victorinox scissors. We have three tools on the back, a corkscrew, which can do more than just remove corks and is also great for holding the eyeglass screwdriver, which can be purchased separately. And we have here the hidden pinhole, but you have to bring your own pin. Then we have the parcel hook. Think anything that might dig into your fingers and that's where this comes in. And then we also have a bladed awl, with a sewing eye, which again is a really nice addition to this knife. We also have the usual scale tools, the tweezers and the toothpick, or in my case, the AirPod earwax remover. And because these are not plus scales, there's no pen in here. When it comes to pure white, Victorinox choices are quite limited. You have the climber here, and then the Huntsman, which is my favorite pocket outdoor choice. And then the Spartan, which is a two layer basic option. And then the nail clip, which is a small nail care option. And then the classic SD, which is Victorinox's small bestseller. You'll notice I've added a deep carry pocket clip to the climber in keeping with our black on white theme. And this is an aftermarket option from Clip and & Carry and it's called the Swiss Clip. And it works on every 91 millimeter Victorinox knife, apart from it seems the one I happen to carry every day, which is the compact. And the location of the curing loop on the knife is the reason why, which is where the Swiss clip attaches with a screw. And I have to say it is actually rock solid when in use and works really well. A couple of things to watch out for here. One is that the tweezers are harder to access and actually require the use of the toothpick. The hook is a right royal pain to get out as well and require the use of the tweezers. The other thing to note is that this gap here can be a bit tight for some of my jeans where the denim is thicker and then this deep carry pocket becomes, well, not that deep. The Victorinox climber costs around 30 pounds or dollars, which is really good value. And the Swiss clip costs about the same, which is really not good value. But if you want that pocket clip, currently this is your only option. The most widely used everyday carry item has to be the mobile phone. However, finding a case that will do justice to our theme actually proved quite difficult. That is until Urban Armour Gear came to the rescue with the Pathfinder Slim Case, which I have to say 
really looks the part. UAG specialise in heavy duty foam protection and this version has a hard outer shell and an impact resistant soft core. We have a soft surround here to protect the screen and also the camera lenses and we have here a scratch resistant back and soft corners to provide protection against drops and bumps. And this is tested to withstand a 16 foot or 4.8 meter drop onto a hard surface. It's also wireless charging compatible, but due to the shape of the back here, it won't lock onto a MagSafe charger. This is the iPhone 13 Pro Max, so the largest in the range, and the case here still only weighs 53 grams or 1.9 ounces. It's also easy to install and remove, and the buttons remain nice and clicky. I purchased this one for £24, which should be similar in dollars, and that seems to me like great value. So check out UAG if you want a lightweight and rugged phone case that instantly turns your phone into a prop from a Star Wars movie. Next up, we have the Volt Nano, the perfect place to store and transport your EDC gear when not in use. And the case consists of this tough outer shell with a soft touch carbon fiber style outer and with this Velcro patch panel on the top and this carry handle here. A double zip gives access and inside we have two elasticated panels which are held in place with Velcro. Each panel can hold four small items or two larger items, things like a folding knife or other EDC gear such as flashlights, pry bars, pens, etc. And there is also a center panel which serves as a protective divider and can also double as an additional patch panel. So this will help to keep your gear in one place, tucked away so it doesn't get lost or borrowed and will also keep your gear dust free. And if you have more gear than fits in here, then there are various different sizes and also colors to choose from. And this one costs around 40 pounds or dollars. There was one obvious choice for an EDC pen in our chosen theme, and that is this, the AirPress from Tombow. And this is a great combination of features and price. And in terms of those features, this is crazily lightweight at only 15 grams or half an ounce. Then we have this click in action. And when you press this, it pressurizes the refill. So it writes at all angles and it also adds an addictive fidget factor too. The end here is rubberized for easy grip and it has the best pocket clip ever, which will pretty much clip onto anything. And there's even a lanyard loop built in too. Even though this is a low cost pen, you can still get refills for it. They're very affordable and readily available. And as for the price, this costs just seven pounds in the UK and it seems is a little bit more expensive in the US. I don't normally wear white, as you might know, but I thought I would make an exception considering the theme of this video. And if you want to know what this is, it's from Triple Ort Design and it's their Primer Cotton Hoodie. It's made from full cotton waffle knit. It's a great one for travel because it can keep you warm when it's a bit chilly, but it can also keep you cool when it's scorching hot. And it's luggage allowance friendly, weighing in at just 490 grams or 17 ounces and in addition to that it also packs small this cost me around 100 pounds and in the us it's available for 85 dollars okay we will wrap it up there and if you've enjoyed this video then you might just want to check out this one next and as always thank you for watching and i hope you can join me in the next one